Hello and welcome. Please read the problem, pause the video, and try it on your own. Okay, so we're solving for x here, and I know that x is in the denominator of a fraction in the position of an exponent. It's a little bit intimidating, right? So it's like hiding down here, right? This is our, our exponent variable. And it equals 6 squared to the negative fifth. So there's some stuff going on here we've got to play with and figure out. So 6 squared. We could, we could figure that as 36 and then raise the negative fifth power, but that's a little bit intimidating. So I'm just going to kind of play with this. What could this mean? 6 squared to the negative fifth, right? Well, that, that of course, would mean we start with, if you have a negative exponent, of course, you're dividing. And when you're dividing, you start with 1. So your pattern is 1 divided by this as your base. So you can treat 6 squared as your base. So it's 1 divided by 6 squared not once, not twice, but five times. We divide over and over again, right? It's this right here. Okay, you got five six squares. Now, instead of dividing by six squared, the equivalent is multiplying by one over six squared. And this just goes back to an idea where if you're dividing by a number, multiplying by one over that number is equivalent. So if you, instead of dividing by two, you can multiply by one over two. Instead of dividing by three, you can multiply by one over three. Instead of divided by 6 squared, you can multiply by 1 over 6 squared. It's the same idea. And if, you don't, if you're not convinced, try it out with some numbers. And you'll see that those, in fact, always work. Now here, we multiply across. We can think of this as 1 over 1. And then 1 times itself over and over again is just 1. So our numerator remains unchanged. This 1 here has no impact on the product, so we leave it out. We have 6 squared times 6 squared times 6 squared times 6 squared times 6 squared. So that's 2. 4, 6, 8, 10. So that is 6 to the 10th. Right? We can add those exponents because we're multiplying equal bases. So here we can see that x is equal to 10. Another way of approaching this problem is to just apply your laws of exponents directly. Here we have two exponents in this position. Right? 6 squared in parentheses raised to a power. We can just multiply those exponents. And we can say right, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. So if I rewrite this, we get 6 to the negative 10 equals 1 over 6 to the x. So what is x? Well, here, right, 6 to the negative 10, by definition, is 1 over 6 to the 10th. Right? It's 1 divided by 6 10 times. So it equals 1 over 6 to the 10th as well. That's another way of thinking about it. All right, I hope this helped.